If you've heard of Internet Computer, which is ICP, you've probably heard that it's capable of hosting things on chain. But what would be an example of that? Well, I'm here to talk about one specific example in this video right now. OpenChat is the example that I'm going to use today. Well, great. What is OpenChat? OpenChat is a decentralized chat app governed by the people for the people. Of course, there's a little bit of truth in that last bit, but it's obviously a bit of a marketing ploy as well. OpenChat is 100% on chain built on internet computer. OpenChat is a fully featured chat application running end to end on the internet computer blockchain. OpenChat is similar, but different, similar to Slack, Discord, except this is something that's a DAP, which is a decentralized application. And in this case, it's not decentralization theater because it doesn't just have the front end and some tokens on chain and then everything else on web too. This is actually on chain. As you can see here, some of the features are text messaging, jiffies, reactions, polls, reminders. You can send crypto directly in open chat. It doesn't work flawlessly, but it does work. You can have notifications. There's media messages. You have storage. You can even create communities if you upgrade to the diamond plan. There's direct chats, there's private groups, there's public groups, there's gated groups, there's translations. You can make video calls, join video calls, make and accept peer-to-peer -peer swaps. There's the diamond badge, there's display names, which that seems like a pretty basic feature, but while well, they listed it. And even potentially airdrops and rewards. There are communities, as previously mentioned, because it's not just a chat app. Open chat is a community building powerhouse. Find communities that speak to you. Create a community of your own. You are in complete control using our powerful system of roles, permissions, and channels. Discord meets Slack in a decentralized package. Open chat is mobile first. A chat app should be used on the go, and so OpenChat was designed from the beginning to work well first and foremost on your mobile device. The user interface will respond to give a seamless experiences on devices of any size from mobile to desktop. Create private groups with friends and family to coordinate and chat together. With a private group, you have full control over who is in the group or create a public group and share it with the world. Permissions are assigned to different types of users. As a community or group owner, you will decide who gets owner, admin, or moderator privileges. This allows delegate responsibility as you grow your space. Organize by adding any chat to your favorites for easy access. Pin any chat to the top of a chat list. Arrange communities in any order that suits you. Configure your personal information, UI settings, and chat settings at any time. Manage your crypto accounts and account storage. View your own personal stats and get messaging. Sending messages is the heart of any chat app. OpenChat provides all of the features that you would expect and adds a few unique capabilities of its own. Search for communities in the Community Explorer. Search for global groups from the group chat section. Search for any user in the from the direct chat section. You can also search for messages within any selected chat. Proposal voting, which is a unique feature of OpenChat in that it allows you to vote directly on NNS and any SNS proposals. Simply register your OpenChat account as a hotkey for the neuron that you wish to vote with and join the relevant public group. Here we see the current roadmap for OpenChat and we see that the SNS launch is already completed. The user rewards are continuous and ongoing. The communities have been completed and integrations, it looks like they're a little behind on because that was scheduled for quarter three of 2020. And that's not yet marked as completed as of April 22nd, 2024. The integrations that they're talking about is that they are currently consulting with many builders in the community to find out how they would like to integrate open chat functionality in the future. The demand is there and they will likely start with a simple direct chat functionality before later offering groups and other more advanced features. The open chat team will build the APIs 
libraries, and GUI components required to make chat integration as seamless as possible. In the future, they are targeting to bring voice and video. As many Web2 apps in this space offer voice and video calling, and they aim to do the same. There are certainly challenges in doing this in a way that is both reliable and meaningfully decentralized. This is why this function is so often delegated on other cryptos to a centralized Web2 partner, which again is why so much of crypto is just Web3 theater and not actually Web3. It is likely to require an incremental approach and a fair amount of research and development. Currently, OpenChat is delivered as a responsive, progressive web app. This means that it performs well on any device via the platform's web browser. It can also be saved or installed to your favorite device's home screen for an even more app-like experience. There are great advantages to this approach. They can deliver for all platforms using a single code base, which allows them to deliver features faster and without preference to any one particular platform. Unfortunately, the native web APIs available are a work in progress and not all platforms develop at the same speed. Furthermore, some people may simply prefer to get their apps in their chosen app store, and there is an undeniable stickiness in this approach. In the medium term, the team will explore options to preserve the single code base benefits and combine it with a platform specific native app shell, which will provide full access to the native platform APIs that are needed. In the longer term, it may be possible to develop fully native mobile apps for each platform. End to end encryption is also something on the open chat roadmap. Currently, while the internet computer does provide very strong strong security guarantees, there is still a hypothetical risk that a rogue node provider could gain access to ingress messages and node memory. As such, they will develop opt-in end-to-end encryption, which will of course come with some restrictions, such as not being able to search your message history. And some other features, they are governed by the SNS. We are obliged to listen to our users along the way as we develop the larger features described above, and so our roadmap will always be fluid. They will continuously dedicate themselves to performance and usability, and there are many other smaller features that they would like to work on. And some smaller other feature ideas include send additional tokens as messages, such as CKBTC or CKETH, which is chain key BTC or chain key ETH, which are internet computer layer two solutions for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Tag groups and search or filter by tag. Optionally sync with phone contacts and invite contacts, link previews, profile badges through reputation and achievements, tag messages and search or filter by tag, verified NFT avatars, NFT gated groups and communities, disappearing messages, the organization of events through the use of a calendar, custom emojis and stickers, broadcast groups, which would include things like stream video, or in other words, stream one video to many people. Broadcast group roles, things like owner, admin, moderator, participant, and viewer. Viewers can tip using cycles. Open chat is fairly intuitive. It's pretty obvious that it's a chat. You can find different groups or communities to join and then participate in the conversation. So this would be one example of one of the dApps that are built on ICP. And Internet Computer allows a person to develop 100% on blockchain in a practical manner. Sure, the storage isn't the absolute cheapest storage that you can find anywhere, but it's one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest storages for blockchain. The blockchain of internet computer has the compute power. It has the ability to store data and therefore it can actually run things on chain. What a novel idea. We'll be covering some more dApps on internet computer in future videos. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I encourage you to check out OpenChat if you are already an ICP holder.